Hello and welcome back to Europa Universe's Forum. Lord Foreman here playing as Prussia. So, we've expanded again. We've picked up more land there. We are not a great power yet. We are larger than Poland, though. But Poland has Lithuania. And we're doing okay in terms of catching up to Denmark. But our biggest issue right now is our governing capacity is pretty much maxed out thanks to the Prussian monarchy reform. Which is basically a army with a state rather than a state with an army. But on the other hand, we do have this nice little bit of militarization ticking up. I'm tempted to spend some points on it, but I kind of also want to get these uh, ideas for now. Plus 33 army modifier uh, manpower, and then we're going to stack it with 25. This should hopefully solve our manpower crisis for a while. I know some people weren't particularly happy with me going aristocratic, but yeah, I figured it was worth an experimentation plus the cheaper military tech cost when we're going to have, we should have God basically level military rulers for the rest of the game. Yeah, actually we need the tech first, then we'll go back and get it, which is actually fine. The longer things go on, the closer we get to having a six military ruler. Our current ruler's not bad. I mean, he's 9, but our heir is 12. I know which one I'd rather have. And our prestige is vaguely recovering. By the way, I know I am not using the church stuff here yet to become militaristic, but um, basically if I have to do development, I want that. The cheaper ideas is really nice. And the prestige is... Very well needed, this game. Ridiculous. Um, prestige of at least 10. You know, I love Prestige of at least 10. Uh, Kunzberg production of 8. We can do that. There we go. 109 ducats. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, I'd like to take the idea, but I'm losing innovation. So I'd get innovation, but then I'd almost guaranteed lose it. Okay, um, yes, we'll allow the religion to be mocked by a natural philosopher. And we'll go free shooter. How are we doing with a, uh, the nations hating us? Not as bad as I thought. Um, we might be able to pick up some land in the HRE again. Verden, I think, should be our target. Rally to Goslar, which I've never seen before. Oh, they're a free city. Right on my border. Oh, okay, I might be able to... Their land? I've got a claim on it. Um, we've got three claims on these. We've got a claim on that. I think we're probably good to start that fight. Let's march south. Our armies are should be stupidly strong compared to everyone else's at the moment. Especially because we have the next... We're at Miltech 12. They're only at 11, which means we have better troops. Okay, and we also need definitely need to get this admin tech so that we can get more governing capacity. Boy, it's slow to start out, but plus 500 at level 31, that is ridiculously good. It basically is double the size of my country, which I suppose it makes sense because we want huge late game wars anyway. Um, declare war, we would have 26 we can call in mains. I think I'll just call in mains. Yeah, we should be able to win that. Yeah, we have more troops. Okay, um, they're going to get called in? Or no? I attacked the wrong people. Oops. Okay, <laughs> I attacked the wrong people. Uh, let's take them out. Dumb of me to attack the wrong people, though. Ooh, stack wipe. Um, let's make sure Hamburg can't rebuild. That was dumb of me. I didn't even want to attack Lubeck. Tells you thinking matters in this game. Or at least not being an idiot. These walls are going to take forever to siege because it's Hamburg. Who has got a bonus to wall defense? Yep. Barrage it. When in doubt, barrage. Okay. War is in our favor at this point. It's almost over. 
kind of like to take Hamburg, to be honest, but... Oh, well. Uh, what do I need to form Germany, to be honest? Because that's the next goal. Not Emperor. I need... I own Berlin. I need... I need a lot of provinces, don't I? I have to own 50 provinces in northern and southern Germany. I have 22. I mean, it's not outrageous. It really isn't. By the time I get all those lands, I should have taken all this, so... Okay. Well... Slow progress. Hopefully we can pick off at least Hamburg and one or two of Lubeck's provinces. Without causing the end of my nation due to outraged coalitions. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to getting both Lubeck and Hamburg, but I think that's going to be slightly too ambitious. Hi, Muscovy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense you hate me. I'm bordering you now. There we go. Hamburg has fallen. What would it take me to take Hamburg? I'm just... Yeah, I'm not taking Hamburg. Let's just piece them out. Uh, convert to Protestant, pay me money, give me prestige, and war operation. Sure, that's good enough for me. Eee, I'm almost out of the prestige hole. There we are. Lubeck has, in fact, fallen. I'll send that that way, and I will send you to Riga. Hi, Riga. You're being really intelligent and just hiding in your capital. They're not even attempting to put up a fight. Uh, let's slow recruitment time. Yeah, the space marines have arrived, pretty much. The odds of any of their armies fighting me, have, it's non-existent at this point. Or at least the early space marines. Maybe they're not space marines, maybe they're like air marines or something. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay. Um, what could we get? They would give me that. That could form a coalition. So, probably going to have to wait a couple years. Do these guys dislike me as is Munich? Ten. Oh, I'd have to wait like five years. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we also need to build a naval battery as soon as we can, because this building is ridiculous. Hostile fleet attrition. If we put it right in Strassland, um, it'll basically allow us to invade Denmark. <coughs> or at least it will prevent Denmark from invading me. I don't really want... Actually, I do want Lautenberg, don't I? That's 52. That's only 50. I may just come back for it. Wait a year, make sure that, like, half these guys can't join. It's still going to be a risk. Maybe I should only take two for now. Still a lot would join. Um, we're going to have to wait till next year anyway, so there's no real rush. Uh, the other option is we pick off Riga up here. Really hard to actually take any of this land, despite having 10% aggressive re expansion reduction. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Peace offer from Bremen. Convert to Protestant, sure. Uh, I can't afford to pay you. Curious, does Brandenburg have any unique disasters? Doesn't look like it. No. Uh, I love our religious unity being massive because we're so tolerant of everything. Tolerance pays off sometimes. Still, they would never... Also, we are actually finally positive prestige, mm -hmm. so we could fire our air if for some reason we'd want to. It's only taken us, you know... Four episodes or so to get out of the hole you fall into when you convert religions. A little bit more, Riga's almost done, and then it's... It should be over. When do we get admin efficiency? 17 in car. 
We want to expand as much as we can, but Prussia's a late game nation, so. <sighs> Coalition from that alone. That's what I figured. Um, let's separate PCU, actually. There we go. Might as well get free income out of it. Yeah, we can survive that. That would get us 25 development. I guess it's the best we'll be able to do for now. Um, give up claims in Prussia. War reparations. Oops. Annul treaties with Riga. There we go. It's not great, but it's a it's something of an expansion. And more importantly, I can also create some states again. Uh, let's throw you into a state. Let's throw you into a state. What else do, can we do? Lower Saxony. Which is you. And Lavona, which is you. Yeah, well, eventually we'll conquer that. So, not bad of a war. Picked up 25 development. No real issue from Austria over it. Yeah, Austria is just going to dominate the Polish throne until they stop being a elective monarchy. Diplomatic ideas, yeah. As if Austria needs to take diplomatic. I mean, it makes it easier for them, but still. Jeez, that's expensive. We definitely need admin ideas as our next uh, idea group. 14, okay, so two techs. It'll get us the capacity, it'll give us the cheaper cores. It should get us everything we want. I mean, it'll delay our space marines a little bit, but we can't get there anyway. Okay, printing press. Did we get it? We got it. Uckermark. Awesome. Uh, that is right next to our capital. Plus 10 institution spread. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get in Berlin really fast. Actually, we'll get it in most of our lands. Awesome. So we can kind of sit back here and just wait because we're going to get it. Which means we probably don't need to save up tons of cash. Because we want to start, we want to keep taking idea groups. Oh, I suppose I should save up the money anyway. Uh, can't do anything with these guys. Oh yes, the fleet battery, naval battery. Um, we're going to put it here. There we go. Basically, it should cause damage to enemies trying to invade us. Blockade force required up. Hostile disembark time plus 200. Hostile fleet attrition 5. That's really why we want it. The hostile fleet attrition. Keep the uh, enemies a little bit busier. Uh, purchase and ability. Uh, trade ship power propagation. <laughs> We're not building any trade ships. So, Speaking of which though. It's probably worth swapping our center of trade to Lubeck. Because even the small nations here are picking up four gold. We're only getting four gold from there. Eh, maybe not. Not just yet. I think if we can develop some of this, maybe. So some more trade buildings. Uh, admin points, thank you. Yeah, our government reform is gonna should go up nice and quick now that we get this average autonomy reduction going. Even the lands we just took are uh, going down twenty five a month, point twenty five a month. That is, I don't think I've ever gotten it that high to be honest. Yeah, 
And so long as we uh, make them all, everything, we have a state, we should be good. Mains broke our alliance with us. Interesting. I mean, that, I mean, I'm not terribly heartbroken about that. Ooh, the Ottomans kind of like me, which is funny. Um, we really could use another ally, though. We've managed to become the rivals of most of the great powers in the world. Uh, Spain, maybe? No. Milan hates us. Savoy hates us. Uh, Savoy hates us less than the others. Let's work on Savoy, I guess. They won't be a game changer ally, but every little bit helps. Oh, I didn't realize. Interesting. The elective monarchy of Poland gives them governing capacity. That's kind of cool. Weird, but cool. That should, yeah, vir virtually no rebellion. Awesome. Our reforms are going up rather fast now. We can get it a little bit higher. A little bit higher. I think we'll wait for Lep Lepzig. I probably have that wrong. Yeah, well, we can make that a core. That'll lower our autonomy by 90 in one province, so. What's it now? Oh, maybe it's not 90, but now it can go down. Oh, it's 36 now. That should make a big difference. Yeah. Month uh, Average autonomy of 10. That's pretty good. I do like that we can get autonomy to almost nothing now. Um... We'll take the revolts in Dodzig, actually, because I'm not going to give up that land that easily. Speaking of which, I should probably summon the Diet. Prignitz, or however you say it, as a church, okay. Uh, we want to see some more of this land once we can uh, do this. I've noticed you actually get stuff if you get your um, crownland high enough, so we want to do that. Let's just crush these rebels. Annoyingly. They popped up in our lands. How dare they. And there we go. Seize land. No one will get below 30. Even though they won't be happy. We now have tax and maximum absolutism, and that can get even higher, so... We want to do that if possible. All these are going to be positive still, which is good. We can spare money for Poland. And next month we can get all of our land basically in states. Even though we are slightly over our governing capacity. they will pay for their treachery. Let's embrace Latvian. There we go. And what's our reform rate now? Average autonomy of 7.19. That's not bad. It's not great. I mean, I'd like to get it so it's one a month, but... Stettin gets fortifications for the rest of the game. Awesome. There we go, we've got a naval battery here, so inevitably if we want to invade Denmark, we've got a better start. Although, to be fair, Denmark's getting clobbered by Russia. Or Muscovy still. Why are they Muscovy still? Oh, they don't control Ryzen, which they need. Prestige and army professionalism. We're up to 40 army professionalism. Awesome. We need 50 to start the reform of the Prussian Brandenburg army, and then we can get empower the Junkers easily. We just have to grant them supremacy. Yeah, okay. And then we can do renovate Berlin. Uh, we can't do army reform, though. 
We can reform the Prussian legal system once we get all the reforms. And we can do the Edict of Potsdam, which will be nice. So, little ways to go, little ways to go. Can't ally Savoy. We basically have no allies. <laughs> Except for Austria and Poland, which, in the scheme of things, not bad allies. Let's do outraged countries, though. Keep as many people happy with us as possible. Or at least a non-outraged. It's right on the line, them hitting me. Ninety-one. Okay. There we go. Really want to get this governing capacity under control. So let's just quick do that. There we go. It should... As long as I have positive ticking militarism, I'm happy. Prestige loss. That was expected. Because inevitably I'm going to lose prestige. It's like a rule of the game. I have bad prestige events. This will be nice. The army tradition decay. That should virtually stabilize our army tradition decline. Especially if we go... Well, eh, eh, it'll work. It's not the best. Should keep us at a, like, 40 general. And if we get even higher, there we go. Yeah, it's, we should stay above 40 generals, so that's that's going to be very useful. Between 4 and 11 pips is a base, yeah. Exactly what you want on a good general. Uh, let's throw down some barracks. I mean, we're up to 51,000 manpower, which isn't great, but it's not bad either. Plus 33 from serfdom. serfdom, serfdom. And then if we get another one, we'll get an additional 25%. And then all we have to do is honestly focus on internal development. I'm trying to remember which of the idea groups get you additional discipline. Economic and quality, so we have to take those two to get to the insane Prussian space marines. Still, we're gonna have like 15 discipline without taking those ideas. Our heir is capable of taking the throne at the cost of 50 prestige. Nine versus 12. I think for now I'm going to stay with my current ruler because he has slightly better admin skill. 1,000 gold to embrace the institution. Not bad, actually. It's spreading fast, which is very useful. And we're not going for tech anyway at the moment. We're going for ideas. Oops, let's do that. Uh, might as well do that as well. Denmark has rivaled me. How many rivals do I have as Prussia? I have five rivals. Wow. A lot of people don't like me. I wonder why. The growth of northern Germany. Great powers. We're almost there. We're getting close. 40 more development and we'd be a great power. It's totally doable. Profiteering. Protect our trade or competition is good. Protect our trade. We're totally all about offending everybody, it seems. What are we on to this? Five autonomy. Wow. I think we're going to have zero autonomy in all our lands, unless we keep expanding. 
doing pretty good on that front. Um, yeah, we'll support the printing press. What the heck? It only hurts us a little bit. We have unrest control to spare. We only have negative nine unrest almost. It took quite a while for us to get all this done though. Oh, well. We're in no rush. Take it slow, take it easy. We're a late game power rather than an early game power. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. We've expanded a little bit. We've caught, we've got some more ideas. We're starting to become a very dangerous nation. And we've got four more ideas to do. If we do all four, then we get the Prussian tree completed and we are at 42 army professionalism. So thank you guys all for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.